Hey guys, Stephanie V here. Follow my feet. It is Feature Friday. Happy Friday. I'm happy because today is November 21st and tomorrow is my birthday. Yay! But I'm really excited today to share with you a person who I admire and I look up to and I'm going to call her my first Feature Friday fighting hero. Her name is Crystal Flores and she's actually living in Los Angeles, California. Crystal and I have never met, but we follow each other on Instagram and um, she's been just a true inspiration to me. Um, Crystal lives with congenital heart disease and she struggles with it every day and just reading her Instagrams and her pictures and looking at her blog has um, just truly inspired my life to fight and to be positive and to know that um, there are other people who um, are, are, are struggling but are happy with who they are and that definitely is Crystal. Um, Crystal sent me an email with a little bit of information about how she feels in living with congenital heart disease. She says it shaped her into the strong woman that she is today. She says that it has taught her to be loving, caring, compassionate, and most of all, it's taught her to never give up. She says that her life is worth fighting for, and if she had the chance to change anything, she wouldn't. She said that life is the most beautiful thing that exists. She would do anything to fight for her life and others as well. As an adult now, Crystal's 27. She struggled with um, CHD since she was a baby. And she'll tell you more about her story. Um, now she is a public speaker for the American Heart Association. She is a heart disease advocate and she wants to raise awareness and raise funds for this silent killer that is the number one killer in the world. She says her dream is to be able to save more lives and she wants to dedicate the rest of her life doing it. Her motto is heart disease can't beat me. Again, heart disease can't beat me and she lets everyone know that with her upbeat positive vibe and she just continues to fight and I feel like it's a truly an inspiration and truly a hero to me. You can follow Crystal on her Facebook page and that's CHD Warrior Crystal and you can also follow her on Instagram at Crystal Hearts. Crystal, I just wanted to say thank you for letting me feature you, and I hope to meet you soon. You truly are an inspiration to me because of the way that you live your life, and it makes me feel like I can live mine. I can be stronger. I can fight for what I want, and I know that you're fighting along with me as well. So thank you so much for letting me feature you again, and I cannot wait to meet you. Besos. Hi, my name is Crystal Flores and I'm a heart disease survivor. I was born with congenital heart disease in April 1987. I'm 27 years old now and I've had eight open heart surgeries. I've also survived two cardiac arrests. One when I was four years old and the other one was when I was 14 years old. I was resuscitated both times. Because of lack of awareness, I wasn't diagnosed at birth until I was three months. I was diagnosed with seven different defects in my heart. One of them is that my heart is located on the right side, not the left. Only 1% of the whole population in the whole entire world are born with this heart defect. <clears throat> Living with heart disease is not, it's very hard, but I've lived my whole life this way and I still continue to fight this disease every day. Heart disease has taught me to appreciate life and it hasn't been easy at all but it's made me the strong woman I am today and it's showed me a lot about life and how to appreciate it but now that I'm older I want to help others and support others like me 
I also want to raise awareness to save more hearts and also to increase more funding for this disease so research medicine can progress and more people can be saved. If we all stand together, we have the power to raise awareness and make a difference for people like us. So I've decided to join the American Heart Association to help this life-saving mission to end heart disease. If I, to end heart disease, I go red for myself, other women, and children. But most importantly, I go red to save more hearts.